Here I'm going to show you how to easily deploy a one-node Firecracker Cloud with Mini One, integrated with Docker Hub Marketplace on Amazon Web Services bare metal servers, and how to run and manage containerized applications as Firecracker micro VMs. So first, Mini One is an easy-to-use tool for deploying an evaluation Open Nebula Cloud based on Firecracker micro VMs, KVM virtual machines, or LexD system containers. First, I'll show how to use Mini One to deploy a single Firecracker node on AWS bare metal instance. Then, I'll import an official Docker image in Genix from the Docker Hub Marketplace, update the VM template imported from the Marketplace, and finally deploy the micro VM. So, to set up a Firecracker cloud integrated with Docker Hub, we need a bare metal server with x86. 64 Intel or AMD processor with virtualization capabilities. In our case, we've instantiated an i3 metal instance type bare metal server on AWS with Ubuntu 18.04 AMI. Okay. In AWS, we need to set up a security group for the instance that's going to allow unrestrict, unrestricted traffic to the following ports. Okay, we got. 80 for the Ingenix application, 8080 for Sunstone, 22 for SSH, and 29876 for accessing the Firecracker micro VMs via VNC. Okay, I will also set up some IP table rules on the host to access the Ingenix application from outside the host. All right, since Mini One will only set up a private network for the micro VMs. Now, I also need to install the Open Nebula environment using Mini One. So, we'll download Mini One on the server, and then we run Mini One with the Firecracker options, and we will set the Sunstone port to 8080. Okay, this will take just a few minutes. All right, so the idea here, and we'll, we'll show this a little bit later, the, the idea is that we're going to install the Ingenix Docker official image by using the Docker Hub Marketplace. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now we should be able to connect to Sunstone. So we will use the public IP of the instance, right? And we'll log in with the one admin user and password that was generated by Mini One. Okay. Okay, so here we see that the local host has been configured as a Firecracker node. There are three different data stores. I mean, one has also imported the kernel image in the files data store that would be used to boot the micro VM. Okay, so we're gonna deploy an Nginx application from the Docker Hub Marketplace, as I mentioned before. And that's it's already configured by, by Mini One. So if we go to the Apps tab, we filter by Docker Hub. You see there are several images. Here I'll search for Ingenix and download it to the default data store. We can select a tag for Ingenix. For example, we can select the stable Alpine tag, and here you have the name of the image and the name of the template. When Ingenix is imported from the Docker Hub Marketplace, it'll be downloaded to the default data store. All right. And in addition, a VM template is also created.
Okay. So now I'm going to update the template by adding the VNet network. Okay. And in the advanced options, we'll be able to set the IP. And you can see that the kernel boot parameters have been set. But we now need to set the, the kernel image that's already imported by the Mini 1 in the default data store. Okay, and here we see that the VNC has already been set. And in the context, we add the start script to start the Nginx application when the micro VMs boot up. All right. Okay, and also in the custom vars, we can set the root password. All right. So once the VM template is updated, the image is ready. And we can instantiate it to create a micro VM. So we'll take a, a quick moment. Okay. All right, now it's running. Good. So now we can access the micro VM by using VNC and use the password that we set in the template custom vars. And with that, we can use the browser now to access the Nginx application by using the public IP of the AWS host. All right, it's as simple as that. Hopefully this is helpful.